Hey guys, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride, and I'm excited to show you guys my 2017 bullet journal setup. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my actual process of creating the pages as well as the final product and talking a little bit about what I've done this time around. So to start, I'm going to leave you guys with some music as I design my January 2017 title page. And there's the completed title page. This was inspired by a design on Pinterest and I'll link the original in the comments below. Now I'm going to get on to the next page of my journal. Again, I'm going to start by drawing and designing it and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. So as you guys can see, this is my goals page. Now, the way I decided to do it this time around was to have my top three January goals and then to also do New Year's resolutions kind of separately. So I want this to be a habit that each month I have my top three goals that I'm really working towards. And then my New Year's resolutions are things that I want to complete throughout the entire year. So this page spread was actually inspired by a YouTuber that I'm a big fan of who does a lot of bullet journal videos. So I will link her channel here for you guys to check her out. She did a goals page with a similar design and I really enjoy her aesthetic. So this was definitely very inspired by what she had done in her bullet journal. So 
So here you can see me fixing a mistake. I actually misspelled a word I find when I'm trying to focus in on the design of the letters. I actually misspell things because I'm not thinking about the word as a whole. I'm thinking about each line of each letter individually. So I misspelled a word and so I just covered it with washi tape and moved on. Um, I did have a moment of just wanting to leave it misspelled, but I knew that was going to annoy me. And I actually ended up really liking the addition of the washi tape and it led me to using washi tape a lot more in my spreads, which I hadn't really done before. So my top three goals for January are to get my splits back comfortably. Uh, I haven't been stretching that much lately, so I've been feeling stiff. So stretching more so that I feel nice and limber for my upcoming contract, getting my finances in order after the wedding and Christmas, it's been a bit crazy, and then releasing my ebook, finally. Then we go on to my news resolutions. So I did all these different categories. So there's personal development, recreation, finances, career, relationships, and health. So now we're on to my January monthly spread. I did draw this a while ago because I started to want to write in things for January. That tends to happen for me. I want to have that next monthly spread, so I kind of scroll forward and hope that I find a page that's far enough along. So I'd done kind of the basic parts of the spread already, but I wanted to add a little bit more decor that fit in with what I've been doing on the other spreads. So I added this kind of wreath garland design along the top there. This time around, I've kind of decided to go with a more monochromatic look. I found that all the bright colors in my last journal were a little bit too much and I found it frustrating to travel around with my colored pens and then things would start to get inconsistent. So I thought sticking with just black pen would be probably the easiest thing to do for me this time around. And as you can see, I'm bringing that washi tape in there again. So that is my monthly spread, really simple. Just added a couple quotes this time around. Now I can't remember where I first saw this idea, but I wanted to share it all with you. I've actually added washi tape along the right side of the page, and this actually allows me to see which page is my monthly spread, even when my notebook is closed. Next we come to my gratitude page and my habit tracker. So here I am putting in my gratitude title. As far as this, this is a pretty common trick used by people who do bullet journals um, to make something look more like calligraphy of thickening wherever the down strokes would have been uh, after you've written it in cursive and then filling those areas in to give it more of a calligraphy look and then just adding again a little bit of that same aesthetic of plant doodles along the top there. So here I am filling in those letters to give them that calligraphy look that I was talking about earlier. My plan for the gratitude page is to write in every single day and just to write the number for the date and then start writing as many things as I feel I'm grateful for in that day and then stopping and then adding the next one and just kind of filling in the whole page as a block of text instead of doing anything too decorative. Now I'm onto my January tracker. I do like doing habit trackers. Sometimes I'm better at following them and sometimes I'm not so great. And I haven't actually fully filled in my habits for this tracker yet. Part of that is because I want it to be based off of 
not just my three January goals, but also my New Year's resolutions. So until I fully solidified my New Year's resolutions, I won't solidify the habits that I want to track. But again, in the next couple days or so, I will decide on those and then I'll fill in the rest of the tracker. So here's the final spread and you can see that I added some flowers later. These were also inspired by Rachel L's YouTube channel. This is my little plant-based bride spread, so my editorial calendar as well as my brain dump page. And my favorite part of my journal, my new weekly spread with little spaces for each day on the left there, and then a bit of a Dutch door in the center, just a folded piece of paper so that I can keep my to-do for the week and my waiting on always in view. And you'll see as I flip it that those are more days there, that I have a brain dump. And then underneath I have Saturday and then some things to track for my business, my word of the week to keep me inspired, and then my posting schedule or posting tracker, as well as my stats tracker. And then just a fun little movies to watch spread inspired by Pinterest once again. So the original will be in the description. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my last video here. It's about surviving the holidays and taking care of yourself. Another episode of Self Care Saturday. Follow me on social media so we can be friends and support me on Patreon if you're in the holiday spirit. Bye guys.